Hello, Hoovio. So today, before the video begins, I want to get my chair. I want to say that check out my channel a bit later on my second channel a bit later on today because um, I'm releasing a Pokemon quest, Pokemon Lydia's quest on the Switch video that's gonna come out on the second channel. Do you know how to get webcam like like face cam working on Elgato's game capture software for the Mac, for the MacBook and the Mini Max? MacBook Airs and Mini Max. Do you know? Leave it in the comment section below. So the Twitch stream of Doctor Who. So start at 7 p.m. UK time. And um, it's over with the pre pre-show with oh, I think it's Simon from Young Cast. Talking about William Hartnell's era. They hadn't, I don't think he's finished William Hartnell's era. So I watched it. We watched Unearthly Child, a bit of Death Planet, then I stopped because I went to go watch um, a film with my mum, dad and brother. So then, after that, they were still showing it like 10, 11 o'clock, still. And I think that was the end of Death Planet. Dead Planet, not Death Planet, Dead Planet. With the first ever Dalek story. Then, this morning, and then it's... Then I woke up this morning about 9, 9 ish, and the third run was on, and it was on the part I was up to of Dead Planet. And then that's ended just recent, just moments ago. I'll tell you this time, give me a second, and the time it is 12.22, and it finished at 12.09 UK time. And it's on again tonight at 7 pm. It'll do the same and then, but I can't, I'm a bit sad that I can't watch it Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But there isn't one on Sunday, so we'll be back on Monday. The reason why I can't watch it because I'm at a camp. And so yeah, The Unearthly Child was brilliant. It was all brilliant, let's say. So, Barbara and Ian work at Cold Hill School, which in the class spin-off is now called Cold Hill Academy. Class spin-off isn't for kids, I watched it with my family, it was a bit weird. But it's not for kids, I'm not going to talk about that ever again. And Cold Hill is also where Clara worked, Clara and Danny Pink worked in Day of the Doctor and I think it's series 10. Yeah, series 10. And it's basically it's black and white so it's brilliant and I like how Twitch have got it in black and white and it's like so it goes part one part two part three part four and then around about they were saying in the pre-show that week six was dead dead when it was the Dalek we were the first Dalek story and they were saying that for the first Dalek story basically the direct, I think it was the director, whoever made the decision what the show, he gave a script from his mate, I think it was his mate, or someone else, and loved it, right? They even had to beg, this guy who got the script had to beg the, I think it was the director, I think that's what they were, the director, to show, to do it, to do it. And after the Dalek Dead Planet, which was a Dalek episode, that was that went through the roof, and that's why they've had monsters ever since. Because they weren't going to have regeneration, that's because Willem Hartnell went ill and they wanted to continue the show. That's where time on the regeneration came from. And it was educational uh, at the beginning, before the Dalek story changed it all. And I want to know your theories on the. Ah, Susan Foreman. So Susan is the Doctor's granddaughter, Susan Foreman. So who is Susan's parent and is the Doctor's real last name something Foreman? Hmm, Doctor Foreman? That's what Ian, no, not Ian. Yeah, Bob, Ian and Barbara. I think it's Ian. Yeah, it is Ian. That's what Ian called him, but it's not Doctor. And they, they never mentioned Gallifrey or Time Wars then. 
So I'm gonna go into more detail in all the episodes. Uh, after the 23rd of July, I'm gonna be doing another Doctor discussion and talk about all the episodes, what I liked about them, what I didn't like about them. But Unearthly Child is brilliant. I can rewatch them whenever I want. Like I can rewatch Unearthly Child definitely because I've got them on DVD. I think it's Unearthly Child Part One, Two, and Three. And it was literally absolutely brilliant. I liked, I liked the whole, the whole premise of the Doctor isn't so nice at the beginning, and you come to love him every time. I literally, William Hartnell is amazing. Whatever happens tonight, I don't know what next. I don't know the next Scott of episodes are tonight. Hopefully not Peter. Hopefully not Patrick Troughton yet. I feel like there's more William Hartnell we can get out of him. And then we'll get back to Trump tomorrow. Probably. There's more missing episodes in Patrick Trouton than there was in William Hartnell. They've found a recent Patrick Trouton episode. I don't think they can show that. They've not released the DVD on it. So yeah, thanks for all watching my thoughts on the Twitch Doctor Who event. And the title. Here's the title. Doctor Who. My thoughts on the Doctor Who Twitch event. I can picture it now. Do, 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 do. And what I want to say before I go is that I recommend watching all of Pat, all the William Hartnell's episodes, including Adventures in Time and Space, which is David Bradley's premiere or premiere, 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 premiere. That's it. Uh, his premiere as the first Doctor because William Hartnell played the first Doctor officially then after he died for the Twice Upon Time which was Peter Capaldi's final episode that was David Brangley's show onto the actual show but they did a, a like, doc, like um, how Doctor Who all began with him in it and then with David Bradley in it and the first Doctor and they've got a uh, big finish audio for the first Doctor which will be David Bradley again I don't know who it was for the 20th anniversary because he had died before 20 years of Doctor Who and I really want them to bring back Susan but they'll have to bring her back as like old person if, she's, if the actor of Susan's still alive they could do that but if not they could have like really like they could have like a really old person playing her because it doesn't have to be the same actor technically if she's not around she's not live anymore because I feel like she might be the actor of Susan might be still alive I'm not really sure so yeah thanks for watching this video check out my second channel link in the description there'll be a new video coming today and if you know how to get webcam uh, face cam working on Elgato's um, game capture software that be for Mac, MacBooks Airs and Mac Mini 2012 I think it's a 2012 MacBook Mini Mini Mac and then a MacBook Air because uh, there's a pinball game on the Switch which has Doctor Skin, Doctor Sound Effects and I'd love to play that on this channel so if you know that leave me a comment down below I'll see you all tomorrow for another review of whatever next on the Doctor Who Twitch stream. Time on time. Bye.